Good Thursday morning. So, last night, let me lay out a little groundwork for you. So even when I dream, let's say I'm walking, I'm walking the yard still, you know, even if I'm holding a girl's hands, we're walking the yard, going to the chow hall for a date. I mean, this is still what goes on in my head. And people are still trying to get me in my dreams, you know? So, what happened last night was, <clears throat> <clears throat> I dreamt that somebody was choking me out, you know, and I woke up from that and I still couldn't breathe. So I'm like, let me explain this too. It was hot last night. I was butt naked. I was a guest at someone else's pad. So not cool, right? So it's my old house. I was sleeping in the living room and I covered up my areas, but that's my room that's their room when I'm here uh, so I wake up and I cannot breathe someone's just it feels like someone's choking me you know and I'm fighting this fighting this and then I'm freaking out I'm trying to cough to get this out try to get something to breathe and then I figured I, I, I'm still in my you know, I'm still dreaming but that wasn't the case you know and so the I didn't know what was going on. All I knew is I was at peace, but my body was fighting to uh, get air. I just couldn't get air in. And I ended up opening the front door and stepping out on the porch trying to get some air, you know. And it was 3.33 in the morning when this happened. You know, I went to my knees because I was finally getting ready to go out. And... It gave up, and I guess what I had was an esophagus spasm, which closed my throat. Uh, it was a trip. Like, I totally had come to terms with, hey, this is it right now, you know? And I was at peace. I wasn't like a rabid dog or anything, although my body was trying to do everything it could to fight. Really, really strange, you guys. I mean, I never had anything like that happen before in my life, you know? Uh, and written some things down so that I could uh, bring you some content this morning and try and brighten up your day. Um, but I can't find it. <laughs> anyway, and it turns out that partially that might have been from anxiety. You know, I knew that I had to quit smoking. I made a commitment to you guys. By the way, thank you, 5,000. Can you believe it? Man, we're moving right along, and I appreciate every single one of you. I couldn't do any of this without you. And I think the anxiety of me having to quit smoking may have played a part in it, you know, like uh, anxiety attack or something. But my esophagus had closed. I couldn't breathe. When I landed on my knees, I was on the porch, and at that point I knew it was no dream because I felt that concrete on my naked ass. And here comes my manager walking up at 3.33 in the morning, hearing me gasping for air. It was so embarrassing, you guys. I wanted to die. And they're calling 911, and I'm thinking, just get me some pants. I don't want everybody seeing the little guy. <laughs> oh, my God. So we almost lost Badger last night. Uh, I hope it was just caused from anxiety I quit smoking i might have to go get it checked out today because it did freak me out a little bit but it was a trip i didn't know that i would be at that piece when that time came so i hope we're all at that piece you know and that's as a result of i i used to want to fuck people over the way they fucked me over you know and i didn't appreciate the shit they did but fucking today my heart isn't built that way my character isn't built that way and and i'm hoping that fucking a lot of you guys feel the same way that your just heart isn't built that way anymore and your character isn't built that way anymore if you're truly a tough guy if you're solid on the inside you don't got to walk around like you are one man you do not have to live in fear you don't have to go bumping your gums walking around crazy all the time you know just be nice to your fellow man none of us make it until all of us make it it's just how it is that's how i see things today I can't tell you how grateful I am for the 5,000. Keep pushing. You know, you guys are so appreciated. It's not even funny. Have a happy Thursday. Bye-bye. I'll get at you later tomorrow with some content.